Chordomas are extremely rare tumours arising from remnants of the notochord. They always occur in the midline and are twice as frequent in males than in females. The most common age for them to occur is around the fifth and sixth decades and the most frequent site is the sacrococcygeal region where approximately 50% of chordomas develop. The second most common site is the sphenooccipital region where approximately 35% develop. The remainder arise from the mobile spine, that is the cervical, thoracic and lumbar spine. Chordomas are malignant tumours, but they're slow growing, which explains why it takes five years or so for them to be diagnosed after the onset of symptoms. As I said before, they are extremely rare, affecting approximately one per million of the population. Sacrococcygeal chordomas arise in the 5th and 6th decades. A frequent symptom is pain resulting from erosion of the sacrum. They may also compress the spinal cord and also cause gastrointestinal or urinary symptoms if the large bowel or bladder are involved. Here we can see a chordoma that is invading sacral bone and we are zooming into the bone at the bottom right hand side of the picture. Chordomas arising from the sphenooccipital region tend to occur in children and adolescents. Presenting symptoms include nasal or nasopharyngeal masses. They may cause cranial nerve symptoms from involvement of the nerves and rarely they may cause pontocerebellar haemorrhage. Approximately 40% of chordomas recur after resection and they may metastasize 10 or more years after the initial treatment. Grossly the tumours are lobulated soft gelatinous masses and histologically they have a fairly distinct appearance with the bubbly physoliferous cells, cords of cells lying in a myxoid background forming lobules surrounded by bands of fibrous tissue. Chordomas show positive staining with epithelial markers and S100. Here you can see the cords of cells lying in the myxoid background stroma. This image of a chordoma shows the lobules surrounded by bands of fibrous tissue. Here we can see the characteristic bubbly or physoliferous cells. And this is the S100 stain showing strong positivity of the chordoma cells. The differential diagnosis includes chondrosarcomas, carcinomas, showing, particularly those showing signet ring forms, uh, and also clear cell renal cell carcinoma. The other main differential diagnosis is mixopapillary ependymoma. Yeah.